About 2,500 years ago, a Greek playwright named Sophocles wrote a story about a Greek soldier known for his strength. His name was Ajax. There is also another Greek soldier in the story, and his name was Odysseus. And after winning the Trojan War, the Greek army decided to ward Odysseus with Achilles' armor. Ajax was sad, no, angry, because he thought that he would, should have received Achilles' armor. So he comes up with a plan. He sneaks up to Odysseus' tent at night with plans to kill not only Odysseus, but other Greek generals as well. His plan falls through, though, because of the goddess Athena. She picks favorites among men, and Odysseus is one of them. So she protects Odysseus by tricking Ajax into thinking a nearby field of cattle are Odysseus and his men. Athena found this hysterical. Needless to say, Ajax killed all of the cattle. The next morning, when Ajax woke up in his own tent and realized what he had done, he was humiliated and embarrassed. So embarrassed that when his wife took Mesa, who was given to him as a reward for one of his victories, and some of his friends, who were fellow soldiers, when they came by, he just told them that he wanted to die. Tecmessa and the other soldiers were shocked. And Tecmessa tried to encourage Ajax by reminding him of his duty to her, his parents, and their son. Ajax remembers his son and asks to see him. His son is brought to him, and Ajax talks to his little boy by telling him to take care. And then he tells Tecmessa and his friends that he wants to go for a walk. While he is gone, Tecmessa and the other soldiers are talking when a messenger shows up. The soldiers and Ajax turn their attention to the messenger. He begins asking, where is Ajax? And explains to them that a seer, who is someone who sees the future, said he needs to stay in his tent. Otherwise, he might die. So they go out to look for Ajax. But by the time they find him, it's too late. He fell on his sword, killing himself because he could not live with his humiliation. His brother Teucer is there too, and so are Agamemnon and Menelaus who were two of the Greek commanders Ajax would have killed had Athena not tricked him. Tecmessa fell down in grief and in unbelief that her husband would do such a thing. Menelaus and Agamemnon, however, weren't sad at all. They were almost happy that this man, who threatened their lives, was dead and they didn't mind sharing their ideas when Ajax's brother started planning Ajax's bur burial. Menelaus and Agamemnon did not believe Ajax deserved the respect. They argued back and forth until wise old Odysseus showed up and settled the argument, saying that if he had died, he would have wanted a funeral so Ajax would be allowed to have one. <laughs> 